everybody. It's Miss Joanne here at the West Nyack Library. I'm really here, really, really here in the, well, not in the children's room, off in the activity room, which is the room off the children's room. So you can see the door behind me. That's the door to the children's room. And I'm here with some books that don't have any theme. Usually a story time has a theme, but tonight my story time has no theme because it's stories for any time. And I just decided to take some of my favorite books and that's what I'm doing. So the first book that I am going to share with you today is this one. It's called In the Middle of Fall. And there it is. In the Middle of Fall. I have to angle it a little bit so I don't see the, uh, see the glare on the picture. Okay, there's a little squirrel and a tree. Those are oak leaves. Now, our trees don't look like that for the most part right now. Although if you look, you will see the oak trees do have a lot of leaves still hanging down, but they're all brown and crunchy. Um, so this book is for kind of an in-between time. Thanksgiving is past. Most of the leaves have fallen. Hanukkah is not here yet. Christmas isn't here yet. Kwanzaa is not here yet. It's an in-between time. It's not winter. It's still fall, but does it look like fall? Yeah, maybe not so much. So in the middle of, the, of fall, or in, this, in our case, almost the end of fall. So this is In the Middle of Fall by Kevin Hankies. And it says illustrated by Laura Dronzek. And it is Green Willow Books, which is an imprint of HarperCollins Publishers. And it says it's for Will and Clara. I don't know who Will and Clara are, but I'm sure they loved this book because I love it. In the middle of fall, when the leaves have already turned, and there you can see, let me tip it a little bit more, there you go. There's a beautiful tree, beautiful, beautiful orange and yellowish leaves, and a swing hanging from that tree. The sky looks pretty gray. Oh, <laughs> that's what Mr. Hankies just said. And the sky is mostly gray and the air is chilly. Let me see. There we go. That's better. Uh, let's see. Right there is good. Okay. And we can see there's a kid on the swing and a doggy. And they're looking at those gray clouds. Oh, there's a stone wall. We have lots of stone walls around here in Rockland County. And the squirrels are frisky. There they are. Can't you just see them playing? Bet you in any second they'll go running around in circles the way they do. And the gardens are brown. Oh boy. Do you know what those are? Those are sunflowers. And do you see that, that yellow bird? That's a goldfinch. That's the boy goldfinch. The girl goldfinch is kind of an olivey green. And look at the little mousy. And you know what they're doing? They're eating the seeds out of the sunflowers. Maybe you've eaten sunflower seeds. These ones are fresh off the sunflower. And the pumpkins are ready. I think most of the pumpkin picking's already been done around here lately, this year. And the apples are like ornaments, again, this is a little earlier in the fall. And there's the squirrel eating that apple because you know, that's what squirrels love to do. Eat a little of this, a little of that. It just takes one big gust of wind and all at once, what's happening? The leaves are flying off the trees. Oh, everything is yellow and red and orange. Look at that. I love fall. Fall is my favorite time of year. All over and all around. And look, you see the swing is actually blowing from the wind and there's a little squirrel in the tree. And the doggy is running around and the little girl is running. Well, I think it's a little girl. Maybe, I don't know. It could be a girl or a boy. Hard to tell, isn't it? Oh, wait, I see a, uh, no, I thought that I saw a braid, but actually I see a leaf. I thought I saw a braid with a bow, but it's just a leaf by the kid's back, so could be a girl, could be a boy, who knows? Doesn't matter, it's a kid having fun with the leaves. And right 
in the middle of fall. Look. Oh, what's what's that little squirrel doing oh, right here by my finger? Do you see? It's it's putting the leaves in the the hole in the tree to make a nest. And I guess the other little squirrel's about to jump in too. And the kid and the doggy are pile of playing in a pile of leaves. But remember it, because soon, oh, remember the squirrels and the goldfinches and the apples and the pumpkins and the beautiful leaves, because soon the yellow and red and orange will be gone. There we go, look at that. That's kind of the way the sky looked when I was driving to the library today. Hmm. Oh, and did you notice that the kid is wearing something else now? I see a scarf. Up, oh, there's a little squirrel up in the tree. Do you see the squirrel up on the tree branch? Let's see. I if I put my finger on it right there. You see the squirrelly up on the tree? Let me see if I can get the light on it better. Oh, kind of hard to see. It's very small. I think Mr. Henke's put it there for us to seek it out. And the sky will change again. Oh, now it's really gray. And there's no kid, no doggy, no leaves. And that squirrel is climbing into the tree. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, okay. Having trouble turning the pages. And then soon, very soon, the sky will be white and empty. You see that the little squirrel is looking out of the hole in the tree, and that's what he is seeing. Well, maybe it's a she in their little nest, warm and cozy. And the sky will begin to fill up with snow. And there are all the beautiful snowflakes. I like snow too. I know. A lot of grown ups don't, but I do. I like snow. Um, did anybody feel today when you were outside? I couldn't figure out if it was rain. It felt hard for rain. I think it was little icy, snowy, something or others. I didn't mention, by the way, that I am wearing my mask because I am here at the library. And when you're here in the library right now, you have to wear a mask. It has to cover from your chin to up here. And you can only be in the library for 20 minutes. And we call it grab and go. So you kind of have to come in and you look around quickly and get your books and out you go. We also have curbside pickup. So if you know what you want, you can place holds on things, or you can call and we can find books for you, or you can go on our website and there's a, an, I think it's an email address that you would fill out a form and send it. And we would fill, try to fill out, get you books that you would like the best we could. And then when you come to the library, you, you call before you come. You say, I am coming to pick up my books and you give your name. And when you get to the library, you call again and say, I'm in the parking lot. And then you open your trunk and we drop your books in. Okay, so that's called curbside pickup. Okay, so if you're interested, tell your mom. And we have grab and go crafts right now. Actually, right now we don't, they're all gone. But on the eighth, today is the second, so six more days, we will have a whole new set. And we will have another set on the 14th, 21st, and on the 28th. Oh, on the 28th, we will have New Year's at Noon party in a bag grab and goes. If you have been to our New Year's at Noon parties, you know that they're fun, but we can't do that this year. So we have a party in a bag. You come, you pick it up at the library, you take it home, and on New Year's at Noon or at one o'clock in the afternoon or three o'clock in the afternoon, whatever you and your mom and dad decide, you have your party. Everything will be, well, not everything, but a lot of the stuff that you would need for your party will be in the bag. Okay, so that's what's going on here at the library. Meanwhile, I wanna read another book. 
I told you these are some of my favorites. This is called Lone Wolf. You see that? Oh, I'm covering his, the doggy's nose. There we go. That's better. Lone Wolf. And it's by Sarah Kirpiel. And let's see. Uh, it's another Green Willow Books. And again, it's an imprint of HarperCollins Publishers. And this says for mom, dad, and Michaela. And look, look at all the family, whoops, all the family pictures on here. Let's see. Right, let me raise it up a little. There we go. You can see the doggy and the mom, and I guess it's one of the kids. And what's over there? Oh, maybe that looks like maybe a grandma holding the kid. Oh, there's a doggy. Can you see the doggy? Over here in a frame of milk bones or whatever. Doggy bones. Okay, let's see what this lone wolf is all about. Maple loved being the Parker family dog. Hmm. Well, I'm assuming that this, oops, right by my fingers here. Wrong fingers. Oh my gosh, it's sort of backwards. So it's a little weird looking. Here we go. There's Maple. Is the fa Parker family dog. And she loves it. She loves being the family dog. But on her walks, people would say, dude, that dog looks like a wolf. And down here, the person says, are you sure she's not part wolf? And up there, the little kid is screaming, wolf. And over here, right by my fingers, could you, can you see that little, tiny, there's a little tiny white doggy there. The doggy doesn't look scared, but the little kid looks scared. But meanwhile, Mabel is looking very nice. She's walking much better than my doggies do. My doggies are very poorly behaved. Okay, so the Parkers tried to explain that Maple was not, in fact, a wolf. Okay, so. Here's the wolf page. It says, eyes are often gold. It'd be like a golden brown, I guess. Oh, it's called Canis lupus if it's a wolf. Expert hunter, it's got a picture of a, a deer or a moose or something, a fox. Digs dens, lives in a pack. Often a mix of gray and brown. Long skinny legs, taller lives in the wild. And look, Maple's down there looking at this chart as well as the family saying, hmm. So now they have another chart for Maple. It says, husky, that's the kind of doggy she is. And that's over here. And it says, canis lupus familiaris. That means like a family dog, kind of. Eyes are sometimes blue unique face patterns, coat color, and it shows a bunch of different colors. The tail often curls. It can be used as a sled dog. Actually, they love to pull those husky doggies. Okay, but just eventually though, even Maple had her doubts. Oh dear, it sounds like she's having an identity crisis. Oh, and it says she's also shorter. There we go, can you see? So there's the chart, she's shorter. I mean, look at all the colors that the husky dogs come in, wolves, gray and brown for wolves. Huskies, I mean, heck, they have blue eyes sometimes. She looked more like a wolf than all the other dogs. And look, here she is. She's at the dog park and yeah, there's a little bulldog and a little jumping dog. I don't know what that one is. And that one, maybe that's a golden. Oh, up there, that's um, that's some kind of like a lip, um, oh, I forget what they're called. But they're, they're, they call them sight hounds. They're very fast and very, very thin. Oh, and look down here. Who's this little guy? I think that's a dachshund. I don't know. And probably that's a little Bichon Frise. She's like, yeah, I don't look like them. She's just not so sure anymore. She could hunt like a wolf. Mm, I'm not so sure. That does not look like anything 
that a real hunting dog would be hunting. Can you see? Looks like a stuffed toy to me. She could howl like a wolf. Do you see her over here howling? And dig like a wolf. Whoa, baby. I bet mom and dad weren't so thrilled with that. Looks like she's digging up the garden. Maybe she was a wolf. And wolves belong in the wild. Not in houses or in dog parks. Not on couches or sidewalks. So one day, when the fence was open, just an inch, and just for a moment, well, an inch and a moment was all it took. And there she goes, she's through the fence, zooming along like, like she has the crazies. Oh no, she's getting a drink from a bird bath. Mm, yuck. And there she is zooming into the woods. Do you see that? It says forest preserve. There she goes off into the woods. There we go. Let's see. What's, what's Mabel used to being in the house with people going to do in the woods? Out in the wild, the ground was tougher way tougher than dad's flower garden. Look, can you see her over there digging? She's not making a very big hole there, is she? Nope. Squirrels were harder to hunt than Avery's flip-flops. And there goes a squirrel flying up into the tree. Actually, it looks like the branch broke. It jumped so hard that the branch broke off. And the Perfect tug of war stick must be that branch. Look how big it is. It was just a stick if Jax wasn't on the other end. Oh, 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 look, look how sad she looks. Her head is down, her tail is down. It's not curly now. Oh, poor Mabel. Would mom even hear her if she howled? There we go. Look at that. Wow. That's her face. And her eyes look like big and kind of scared. Maple didn't want to be a wolf anymore. There she is. Look, it's getting dark. Aim that a little better. There we go. And she, it looks like she did manage to, oh no, she didn't do the hole. She's just curled up very little. Ooh, can you see in the tree? There are eyes in there. Do you, can you see them? Hard to spot them in there. I bet maybe that's squirrels or sometimes raccoons go up trees. At any rate, it looks a little scary out there in the dark. But then she remembered it was time for her evening walk. Maple never missed a walk. So she followed her nose out of the woods. There she goes. She's ziggy zagging. There she goes. And now she must have gotten to the town because look, it goes ziggy zaggy. And then all of a sudden the lines go kind of straight. Zoop, zoop up past the playground. There we go. And through the neighborhood. And she sees another doggy. And on her walk, she found, what do you think she's going to find? Let's see. Her pack. There you go. There's her pack. There are her people. See, they were coming looking for her with a big flashlight. There they are. There's the mom and the dad and the two kids. And now she's... She's so happy, look at her face now, with her tongue lolling out the side and her kids with her. Some people still thought Maple was a wolf. You see, there's a little, little black poodle dog. But Maple knew who she really was. There we go, you see her, she knows who she is.
She was a Parker and she was right where she belonged. And there you go. There she is. What's she doing? She's, oh, it looks like they're in the garden. Maybe she's, oh, she's got dirty paws. She must have been digging. And they're up, she's running with a tug of war toy. You see her there? And down there, she's playing, hugging with her girl. And oh, getting treats from mom. Can you see her catching the treat? And over here, this is her chart now. Not just any husky dog, but the maple chart. And this one says, Parker family dog lives in a pack. Her family's her pack. Often found on a couch. So you're there on the couch. Actually on mom's and dad's laps because huskies are big doggies. Usually thinking about, can you see them? See it there? It's a milk bone. Hard to see. She has pointy ears. Hunts. What, can you see down there? A stuffed toy. I think that stuffed toy is maybe losing some of its stuffing. And it has a, she has a curly tail. That's maple. I love that book. I love the pictures. I love maple's face. I love how simple it is. I mean, you could draw that probably. It's almost like a, a, a kind of a rectangle there and two triangles and a kind of a long oval one kind of skinny oval and another one and one going this way and then you would just make the the shape of the, the hair you could draw that did you like that book i like that book so i am hoping that you enjoyed these books and you can watch this video again and again if you would like to. And there'll be more coming in the future. So you enjoy this. And I think I'm going to say good night now because it's actually nighttime. We, we call it anytime stories, but right now I'm doing this at night. So good night, good morning, good day, whatever time it is when you're watching it. Have a good day, a good evening, a good week, and I'll see you the next time. Bye.